Hi everybody, uh, today we'll be making a green party head cookie. Uh, I had this request a while ago from uh, one of my Twitch viewers. I made a promise I would make them, so here it is, time to go to work. Um, I have done a little research on YouTube, I haven't find, found anything similar to that, so here we go. Get some butter. One egg. And a mix. And the great thing with this mix is I can put anything together in the bowl at once and mix it to make a dough. So make things easy, right? So I will make the dough now. I will be right back when the dough is finished because the machine is quite loud. So be right back. So now that the dough is ready, I'm uh, gonna let it harden up in the fridge a little to make it a little uh, firmer so it won't stick. Just a little more flour. And over here so you can see what I'm doing. flour so it won't stick. And I'm gonna put it in the fridge to firm up a little. In the meanwhile time I'm gonna prepare the oven and some other stuff. So uh, see you when I'm when the dough is ready. Guys, I just quickly want to show you what I, uh, I cut out some, some molds uh, just to give you an impression of how it will look eventually. This is just cardboard. I just cut it out so I have a mold. I'm going to use this small one on round cookies. This will be a full shape party head cookie. And this one I will use for a little bigger uh, square cookie with a party head shape in the middle of it. So that was the plan. And of course I will need to make them green. So my green fondant here, which I'm going to roll out, use the shapes on it and uh, try and make a green party head cookie with it. So yeah, that was the plan. Just wanted to show them real quick. Took no effort at all, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I was done. So yeah, that's what it will look like. So the dough is uh, nice and firm now, so it won't stick to my, uh, to my countertop. I'm just going to cut it up first. I don't want a big piece. Another two big piece. What I'm trying to do is over here as much as possible so it's you can all see. So the big idea here is, uh, I'm going to roll it flat with my rolling pin, as you will see in a second. And the trick is, keep flour on your counter so it won't stick. Keep it moving around just a little bit more. Turn it over and roll it in the other way, other direction. I'm going to try and keep it as much rectangular shape as I can, or square. Just 
I don't want to make them too thin. I want to cook it to have a little bit of body. If you do it too thin, it will stick as well. So. Just a little bit more on the edges here. This should be fine. So for the big party head, I'm going to cut a, an even bigger shape because uh, the cookie will be soft when it's baked. So while it's soft, I'm going to cut out the shape. After that, it, uh, it hardens out and uh, I won't be able to cut it without breaking it. So that's one. And for the other one, the little small one, I'm just going to put it here so you can see. I want to make a, I guess it's a rectangular shape cookie. To fit the cookie on. Uh, or the party head on, of course. That was sort of the idea. And now, for the round cookie, I'm just going to take a cup and push out a circle. It's going to be quite a big cookie, I think. No, that's, that's about fine. I'm going to make two of them. Why not? So now that that's out of the way, it's just dough with the rest of the dough. Uh, so now I can put them on a, on a baking tray, which I'll get in a second. Try to handle this with care. Don't put it too much near the edges of the of your baking tray. And the circle shapes. I'm gonna put those over here. I need a little room because there will be a little bit uh, bigger after they're baked. So the next step is baking the cookies. Uh, I'm obviously going to make a little more, but I'm not going to show you right now. I'm going to fast forward it. Uh, the cookies will be baked at 170 degrees, about, well, 12 to 16 minutes, I guess. So I'm going to make a little more cookies and I'll be right back when they're done. So in the meantime, while uh, the cookies are baking, I'm going to roll out uh, the fondant. This particular one will not, well, actually it will not stick very much to your uh, counter, so I'm not using any flour for it. Try and make it as thin as you can, because it's pretty sweet. You still want to be tasting cookie, not only the hat. By the way, I, uh, I just bought this green fondant. I uh, didn't color it myself. You could always do that by using, uh, well, for green, most commonly use the spinach. Uh, but you could use other things like uh, strawberries for red, carrots for orange, stuff like that. But just to keep it nice and simple for myself, I decided to just buy them colored. I'm going to try and roll it out as even as possible. I don't want to tear it, so I don't want to go too thin. I 
That should be fine. Little lump over here. Yeah, there's my green fondant. So I will be making my party hats out of them. Trying to do this uh, as efficient as possible. It's getting a little dark in here, so I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to try and cut out the shape as well as close to perfect as I can. Because we don't want a round party head, we want a pointy one. So yeah, there's our first green party hat, which we're going to put on a cookie, of course. I'll put it over here. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to put it over here. Now I need a big one too. So here comes the big one. Is number two. And the small one of course. Gonna be a little bit more of a challenge to make the sharp corners, but I'm gonna try it anyway. The smaller it gets, the harder it gets. Most of the times at least. And the baby hat. So that's the big idea. That was the plan. So I uh, have to wait for the cookies to be done now. And uh, we can make some real party hat cookies out of them. So just wait for the cookies. Well, the cookies are out of the oven. 
So if I want to cut it, I shouldn't be doing it now, or it won't be happening anymore. Because it'll be too hard. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go over here. Once they are hard, I cannot do this anymore. And I'm screwed. I have to do this right now. And it's hot. No, it's getting a little dark near. I cannot make any more light at this point right now. But it should be fine, I guess. One more. Yeah, just barely. It's already starting to harden out a little. I need to hurry. That's not good. So I'm going to leave this be just for now. Just let it cool off. Yeah, you can't really see it. But... Yep, three party hats. I'm starting to crack up, but that's all good. Mm -hmm. Hot cookies are great, but... It's actually better to wait just a while. So, on with decorating the cookies then. So, well, there they are. There are the party hat cookies. I want to try and flip the screen over and just let me have a look here. If I can do it. The screen. Probably not. Well, I can show you like this. This is the big boy. I really like how this one worked out. I'm going to show you on a darker background. You can still see the cookie over here. I just uh, used some Nutella to uh, stick it on the cookie. So there's your green party head cookie. Along with a little different one. It's actually quite a big cookie, but <laughs> well, my kids won't mind, I think. And of course, there is the regular cookie. So, yeah, I uh, hope I uh, met your expectations on the party had cookies. And, uh, well, I've been messing around a little. As you saw, obviously I had a lot of dough. And I made a few other things as well, which I'm going to show you right now. Well, it's a little difficult keeping a camera on the right angle because I'm doing this with my tablet. But anyway, I realized that not everybody's favorite party hat was the green one. So, I guess you feel what's coming right now. I made a bunch of different ones. Starting with the big ones over here. And 
that's more like it. Of course the green one. My favorite the white one. And a whole lot of different people's favorite the red party hat. Going on from that, you already saw the green one, but here's some more. While I was at it. Then over here we have the smaller party hats. The round cookies. And while I was being rolling, busy rolling the green fondant, I had some left. So I tried to make some nature room cookies, which is a bit of a fail. But just see them in a diff distance, they look more like it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let me see if I can get, yeah, that's about it. So yeah, I think I uh, kept my promise making the party head cookie just like a little more. Yeah, that's better. So yeah, if uh, if you like this uh, roomscape cooking thing, I might uh, consider doing it more in the future. Just uh, let me know in the comments if you uh, if you would like to see more of this. And uh, be sure to drop the like if you do like. So yeah, maybe till next time. See ya.